you guys, this is Melanie and welcome back to my channel. I've been working in the garage all day, stopped, decided I was going to paint this one and I wanted to share it with you. Even took a shower, what do you know? So in this business we have to decide how to paint something, not just in the way that makes our creative heart happy, but we have to think about what sells in our area. White sells, white always sells, that's great, gray sell. Um, Turquoise in my area. I'm in New Mexico. Turquoise sells very well. So today we're going to do something turquoise and fun with this piece. Not exactly sure what. I'm going to start out with DIY's mermaid tail. I'm going to be using a Klingon S50 and of course some water. We're going to see what transpires from there. I really want to do some glazes. I want to do some other fun stuff, but I'm not sure. So hang out with me and let's see what the final product looks like. Here we go. So I'm going to start with a beautiful color called Mermaid Tail. It's made by DIY. I'm using a Klingon S50. And we're going to go ahead and give this piece a coat of that. We're going to start adding in some mint chip. Always have a misting bottle handy to help you blend the colors together. The darker color that I'm adding in now is called Abyss and it's made by Wise Owl. If you're interested in trying any of these paints, don't forget you can find them on my website at windmillvintagedesigns.com. So I'm thinking we're going to go with more of an ombre. Let's do that. Mint chip, we've got the mermaid, and we're going to end with abyss. Let's try that. Let's see how that looks, and we'll go from there. We're going to start working to lighten up that top. So I'm adding a good amount of mint chip, and I'm going to go ahead and move down. Even though my base coat is dry, if I spray it with water, it'll reactivate the paint and I'm able to blend it in. So that's what I'm doing, just moving down to get the colors that I want. As I move down further, I'm going to add in more mermaid tail and there it is. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and just keep blending. We're going to go down and we're going to end with a lot of abyss at the bottom. So here we are putting our abyss on now. We're gonna go ahead and blend that. We want our line, our transition from light to dark to be nice and smooth. So we're just gonna keep blending, moving the paint around until we like what we see. So here I'm gonna kinda of go up the sides, like up the borders there, and I'm gonna blend that. That way it just, it just feels and looks better. Okay, so now that we have it all painted, we're going to do the top. I chose to do my top in beadboard. I'm using 220 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to go over everything, distress it back a bit so I can get some of that natural wood coming through and make it super smooth. All right, so now I'm using Big Top by DIY. It's a nice hard sealer and it gives you a really pretty finish. I'm gonna go ahead and get that on there. I didn't like the hardware that came with this piece, so we're gonna go ahead and change it. These little guys are good, but you need to pre-drill them because the little screws that come with them are not that great. So pre-drill and I tend to eyeball stuff. If you're very particular, measuring is a very good idea. Now 
And here we have it all done. I love the way the turquoise colors and the distressed wood look. Hardware, I think, worked out pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. This is Vintage Makeovers with Melanie, and I hope to see you in the next video.